Hello, and welcome to this lecture on OpenShift for beginners. In this lecture, we look at templates and catalogs in OpenShift. When you log in to the OpenShift web console, the interface with the various deployment options you see is the catalog. So far in this course, we deployed individual build configurations, deployments, and services. We also used a few of these catalog items to deploy services or stacks. But what are these really? Let's take a closer look at Django and PostgreSQL catalog item. This catalog item is a combination of various objects we built throughout this course. It has a build configuration that builds our application, an image stream to tag the completed builds to, a deployment configuration to deploy the build application, another deployment configuration to deploy a PostgreSQL database, and a service to expose the database to the web application through port 5432. But how are the database credentials managed and passed securely to the application? A secret object is used to store the database credentials securely. The application is then exposed through port 8080 as a service, which is presented to the users through a route. The template also has a definition for user parameters seen in the wizard, such as the application name, namespace, git repository, etc. All of these various components are packaged into a single template that can be deployed at once, giving the user a readily available, fully operational application stack. Guess what? You could create your own such templates too, and create a catalog item for it. So how is a template created then? A template can be downloaded or uploaded as a YAML or JSON file. To create a new template, Create a YAML file and specify the APA version as v1 and kind as template. Under metadata, input the name of the template you are planning to create. Then, under the Objects section, create an array of the different objects part of the application stack. In this case, we create a section each for the secrets, services, routes, build, and deployment configurations, and image stream. And finally, a section for defining the parameters a user will be entering in the input wizard. Once the file is created, creating a template out of it is as easy as running the command ocreate-f template-config.yaml. If you are not sure how to develop the YAML contents for a particular service, run the ocexportservice-db command. This will output the YAML configuration for the service, which can be used to create a template after removing and parameterizing the unnecessary areas. That's it for this lecture. Let's head over to a demo.